Hi everybody, this is Gloria from Nata Ray Creations Handcrafted Soap and Skin Care Line and today I am going to be cutting my goat's milk honey and oat soap using my new multi bar soap cutter. I have two um, bars to cut this size and this little one here. Today will be my first time using the multi bar cutter to cut my goat's milk honey and oats. My goat's milk honey and oat is usually um, soft to the touch and I like to leave it in the mold for at least 24 hours, which that has happened. I made this yesterday and it's kind of hard so hopefully it will cut because uh, I got to it late. I usually just do it in the morning but I'm busy. So anyway, anyway I love this multi-bar cutter because instead of one slice at a time, I can do up to six at a time with the size loaf that I use. And this is the goat's milk honey and oats. You see it has the honeycomb. I use bubble wrap. To make the honeycomb pattern. Goat's milk honey and oat soap is really good for eczema, psoriasis, and sensitive skin. My goat's milk honey and oat is unscented and it has real honey and it has real goat's milk as well as oatmeal. And these are all skin soothing ingredients and like I said, unscented. Even those with sensitive skin can use it. I just love this multi-bar cutter. It used to take me a long time to cut each individual bar and now I can cut them really, really quick and I'm so happy for that. These are my, this is an end piece which will be cut into thirds and each Third, I give away as samples or sometimes depending on how large your order is, I'll give it away as a sample. Uh, I also sell them at sample size, so check that out on my site. The ingredients in my oatmeal, honey, and soap are sunflower oil, which is good for the skin and ensures that the skin is constantly rejuvenated because sunflower oil has a high content of vitamin E, which is good for your skin. I also have cocoa butter in my goat's milk honey and oat show, and cocoa butter will leave your skin smooth and supple and soft. And it's unscented. You don't you don't smell you don't smell anything but the natural mixture of goat's milk, honey, and oats in here. Also, I <clears throat> make this soap with olive oil, and olive oil is very very good for the skin. Olive oil helps with the moisture in your skin, which helps reduce the signs of aging when your skin is moisturized. When your skin is moisturized, you get less wrinkles. And I have another one that I'm going to cut. I also um, have the goat's milk and goat's milks have alpha hydroxide acids that break down and remove dead skin cells. I'm reading my notes. <laughs> oh. So let's see, did I, I told you about the honey. Well, I didn't tell you about the honey. The honey helps promote healing and prevent infections due to its natural and antimicrobial properties.
these are going to be a different way. I, I got to figure out how I'm going to cut them because I want to make this these samples sample size. You see how they are um, slightly smaller than the than the original one that I want to sell. These are kind of small, so I want to cut them again to make them sample size. So. I didn't forget anything. No, I'm good. I didn't forget anything. Hello, my one person that's watching. <laughs> I I made uh, yesterday three loaves of my oatmeal, honey, and oats soap, which is good for eczema, psoriasis, sensitive skin. It's unscented. And I was saying how I made this, um, yeah, I don't know if y'all can see it, but the, the honeycomb, I used a little thin piece of bubble wrap. See, it's honeycomb. All right, so anyway, uh, I have, mm, I have these two samples, sample sizes that I'm gonna cut into thirds which I do include in your orders. If, depending on how much you order, I'll give it to you for free. Or um, you can just buy them. Can you see? My multi-bar cutter, it cuts it from this size to this size and I get three of these out of this and, and this this is the sample size so you get to try it before you buy it I have that option in my shop works because this this is my first time using this cutter to cut this coat milk honey oh let me show you how my cutter look let me bring you up close okay i hope you can see it's kind of dark in here i hope my hand's not blocking but anyway this is my um, soap cutter these are um good tar strings that's what cuts the soap and um this is made out of really hard plastic i placed the whole entire loaf here in let me turn you around. Maybe I can just turn you around. Turn you around. It's hard to turn you around with my gloves on. Turn. Okay, here we go. Anyway, much better. <laughs> this is my multi-bar cutter. Before, I was using a miter box and a knife to cut my soap. But anyway... I ordered this online about a month ago and I love it. It cuts my soaps all at once. I'm just cleaning the uh, guitar strings of the soap buildup. But anyway, I can get um, six using my loaf, but I, I think I can get up to 11 bars from here. So anyway, I'm going to turn you back around. Alright, hope I didn't make you dizzy. I'm trying to make you straight. Alright, so like I was saying, uh, I want this thick, thick slice to be thin like this. And then I'll cut it into sample sizes like this. Now mind you, this is my first time using a, a multi-bar cutter with this soap and I'm trying to get you closer so you can see all right so wish me luck 
trying to even it out. I don't think that's even. That's not even. <laughs> Look at that. That's too thin. Oh well. I don't throw away soap. Anyway, let's see if I can get this right in the third here. There we go. And then I have this itty bitty tiny piece. Like I said, I don't I don't throw away soap. I'll, um, I'll shred it up and use it in my activated charcoal soap or shred it up and use it in my activated charcoal facial scrub. The next soap that I plan to make is my lavender soap. Hmm. It smells wonderful. Isn't this a nice creamy color? No color is in there. This is how it naturally looks. And it's unscented. Alright, so I don't want to accidentally cut the wrong so let's see if, if I could try to make this skinny. We will see. Or maybe I could do it this way. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, it's an experiment. I don't know. Okay. All right. You see how fat this is? This is not what I want. I want it skinny like this. So. Oh. We're going to try again and make it skinny. Actually, I need my scale. So I can weigh, weigh this little piece out and then I'll know how, if I should cut it into thirds or or half. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my scale. So, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. This is my scale. I just, I just need to, need to know. I usually have my scale with me, but I thought I could eyeball it, make, make each of the sample sizes a slice, um, make each sample size a slice that weighed an ounce, and I don't trust it. I don't trust. I don't trust. I can eyeball it. Turn on the scale. Let's see how much it weighs. All right, this is this is one point seventy five. So I'll I'll just half it because I need it to look skinny. with that size. <laughs> I told you I just need to know the weight. Let's see how much it weighs now. 90. Almost an ounce. That's that's close enough for me. So anyway, uh what else? Take this. Put this here. I'm 
we're gonna look at your comments in a minute. We're gonna look at the comments in a minute. These goat's milk, honey, and oat salt will be ready next month. September 25th, they will be available for sale then. They have to harden up, and that takes about four weeks for the water to completely evaporate so that the soap is very hard and it lasts long in your shower. We don't want your soap to get mushy. <laughs> When I used to cut the sample sizes individually, it used to take a long time. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to cut them again to make them slim. And I said it's going to be for comments. <laughs> I know you're watching me. Thank you for watching me. I think I can do them all at once. Just want to line them up. I don't know about this one. <laughs> I don't think I would want to mail that one to anybody. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. It's not perfect. So what I'll do is I'll shred it up and put it in my goat's milk honey and oat soap that has um, charcoal in it. It's actually called um, activated charcoal face soap. And I make a scrub with activated charcoal and it has goat's milk in it. So this one is going to go in the soap. hours or so packaging these samples ready for sale. See? I got a bunch of them. These are my samples. And now I just got, oh, here's another one. This one is going to get shredded. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for watching. I think I'm going to I think I might be able to get rid of that. Just cut it off. Ta-da! 
Now that's neat. For sale. This one I, I can't save. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It's just it's 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 not a, a rectangle. It's it's, it's a knot. So anyway, uh, all right. Here's another one. It has like a little hole right there. I think I can. I think I cut that off. Let's see. Let me let me fix up fix it up a little bit over here because it looks crazy and then I'll I'll show you everything all cut up how it looks hmm. some of these some of these sample sizes. area. Look what I found. Well, actually, I knew about this one. This is the end that I said was, was too skinny. I'll just leave it alone. I'll just shred it. Sample sizes I got. Let me show you what I what I did. I'm gonna turn you around as soon as I figure it out. How to turn you around with this button? Okay, here we are. I have 12 hole sizes. Let's see how much they weigh. Now they will um, harden up, which means that the water will evaporate. So right now they are. Oh, that's my hand on there. Shoot, six point five ounces. Right now they're they're they have moisture in there, the goat's milk, and once all that moisture evaporates, it should weigh a little less. We'll say it'll probably weigh. Maybe five, seventy-five. Yeah. So, anyway, my lovely soap cutter, multi-bar soap cutter. Love it. And my sample sizes. I got lots of those. So twelve full bars, and I'm not going to even count those. It's a lot. I'm happy. I won't need to make sample sizes for a good while, unless somebody just buys me up buys me out of all these sample sizes I want to thank you for watching me my Etsy shop is etsy.com slash shop slash creations and please like me on my uh, Facebook page which is also Natare creations I'm gonna turn you around there you go all right so anyway um, like me on my Facebook page it's Natare creations and I also have a YouTube page, Natare Creations. So please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you very much. And you guys, you have a great day. Bye.